The unsolved problem for grade 10 is from 1911. It's Otto Tirpitz's embedded square problem. No matter what loop that you draw, is it always possible to find a square such that the corners of the square lie on the loop? So here we've been successful. There is a square. All corners lie on the loop. To make this problem useful for the grade 10 classroom, we're going to do a little twist and we're going to only consider taxicab geometry. So with taxicab geometry, you can only move north, east, west, or south. So there's, uh, your, your loops are quite constrained. Your placement of the squares is also constrained. You can only place squares so that the corners are on the intersections. So let's see if there is a square here. Yes, there is a square. There's probably multiple squares. If you are interested in seeing more about the embedded square problem, just click in the center of your screen. How many points do you have to add to a grid before you know that there is at least one convex pentagon? Well, it looks here that the number might be 8, but in fact it's not. On the lower left you see an example of how you might organize the, the points in this 10 by 10 grid. You can organize 8 points so that there is no convex pentagon formed by the vertices. Chomp is a game that you can use to give students practice calling out coordinates on a chocolate bar. So the 0, 0 position is poison, and whenever you chomp on a bit of chocolate, let's say that you are going to eat this bit of chocolate, then everything to the north and west is eaten as well. So you take turns doing that, and then of course the person who eats the, the poison at the end is going to lose. So here the yellow player is going to lose.